into this video. Um, we just wanted to let y'all know that we're okay. Uh, <laughs> we're good. Just yeah. Trying to figure out how to get out of here. We have one road out, one road in. It's all the same road. And you I, have mud on your face. There's a good chance. Brady. Oh yeah, with mud. Brady. <laughs> okay, so um, on Friday's video I mentioned to you guys that uh, the hurricane was coming our way and we have in fact been hit by a lot of what has been caused by Hurricane Harvey. We are up in San Marcos, so the hurricane hit, the, obviously, the coast, the worst, um, but it's since traveled up, and it's basically been hovering in our, a little bit southeast of us for the last two days, and it's supposed to continue to hover for gonna another two days. supposedly travel down a little bit, but then come right back up next to us, which it wasn't supposed to do that. It was supposed to go back all the way down to, towards the coast again, hit them again, and then go up to Houston. That was like the usual model that we saw as it was coming in. And so we're like, okay, we're, we're gonna be fine. But no, it's, it's just kind of spinning around us. And then what it does, since we are northeast of this storm, the strong stuff keeps hitting us over and over. And then it and dies so, by the time it comes back down here, and then we get the strong stuff. So yeah. it's been constant rain and really intense wind. Um, again, we're okay. Uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I have a lot of footage that I'm just going to kind of let play. It's going to be a bit longer of a video, but it's just us kind of getting ready and a little bit of footage from the storm, but the most of it was late at night, which is the worst because we're in the trailer trying to sleep and it's like rocking and rolling and I slept just fine. all of the wind and the rain <laughs> and then I'm getting flash flood warnings on my yeah. phone and all of this intense stuff. But um, I would highly recommend that you guys look more into the areas that were hit the worst by this hurricane, yeah. um, down at the coast and Houston. Rockport Fulton. Yeah, Rockport Fulton was like, they took full force, they lost, it was like almost a total loss for that area. They, they had whole neighborhoods and they said it's 100% loss. It's, um, and that was what the mayor was saying down there, but yeah, and then Houston's still getting hit. Right now, and so, and they'll be, uh, they're about to break records on the amount of flooding they have, so, pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, so I would highly encourage you guys to go look up some ways that maybe you can help. I'm sure that there are a lot of nonprofit organizations that are taking donations or possibly supplies to help the families, and then in the future, rebuilding. I know that there's going to be a lot of um, need for volunteers to help rebuild, so if you guys are able, um, I would recommend looking into that. Mm -hmm. But, with that said, I'm going to let the footage play. We're just basically stuck in our little box for the next several days. We're going to try to get out of here today just to go get supplies. Before it gets... I, I don't know if it's flooded yet, um, that road, but if it's not, I'd really like yeah. to go get some more food, and then we'll be... Yeah, it's pro it's pretty much guaranteed to flood by tonight. Yeah, we need, we need to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to let the footage play. I hope you guys enjoy. And we will see y'all soon. First of all, look what we got. Matt's parents got this for us. We hadn't even told them that we needed a rug for the outside. They just noticed that it was getting kind of dirty and dusty in front of our RV. They picked us up. Uh, apparently you can just cut it out at Lowe's. I think it's pretty cheap. So they put this here for us, and they put little stakes in the ground all along it, so it won't come up. It's a beautiful day. Who would know that a hurricane is coming? Harvey has now strengthened to a hurricane. Uh, here's a look at the path, or the projection of Harvey. Now there is a chance that by the time it reaches, and this is the expectation, that it continues to intensify off the coast, we could see potentially a Category 3 hurricane. We could see... Where are we going? To the grocery store. Let <laughs> me pick up some groceries. Supply run. Like toothpaste? No. No. You don't need toothpaste. No. Holy moly! <laughs> That's how you should have got around from the beginning. It actually hurts more. Oh, watch out. I would compare this to Black Friday. Yeah. <clears throat> Except the only thing that you're buying is water. Mm-hmm. Well, and the only thing that we're buying is 
soy riso and tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> like we got, we got Everybody like, is like stocking up on uh, all this stuff. Everyone's getting prepared and we're getting like a, a couple of waters and some taco stuff. Well, because if we're flooded out, you're not going to have access to beer in the next four or five I days. I know. Red light. Oh man, do we need some hurricane chewies? a couple of days ago, and as a result, uh, I'm concerned that not enough Texans have evacuated from danger zones. Hey, look how much rain we're forecasting, so much that our algorithms on this particular graphic, they can't even, you know, fathom above 15 inches, but... So we've got a few RVers boondocking over here. Heard today that the RV park here in San Marcos is evacuating because it's too close to water, so I'm guessing they're from, from there. Well, the last flood that hit this... San Marcos, um, but then Wimberley before that, and San Marcos. People weren't near as prepared as they should have been. First, the Wimberley flood, several people lost their lives. The October flood, which was our last big one, big, big one, a bunch of, I don't know, there's just a bunch of unnecessary things that could have been avoided had we been ready. So, better safe than sorry. Stay puppies. All right, so it started raining. Oh, man. We actually have to go put this tape up. I'll talk about the tape later. Um, yes. I think it bonds over time. I should have looked it up first. Let's just get this on there now. Okay, so we got that down, but I don't, we don't think that that'll work for that. panicking. I can't breathe. Ah, <laughs> We've seen large debris flying by in the wind. Listen, I wanted to show you guys the view out here, but you can see there's nothing to see in either direction. <laughs> Again, this hotel has uh, a good power system and then three... The wind is really strong. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's coming in. <laughs> Anytime I open the door, it starts to kind of pull it open. So where that little black dot? Getting hit by a good amount right now. This is actually part of the hurricane. Wait. What are you doing on the bed? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're not supposed to be up here. Meanwhile, Brady doesn't have Brady doesn't have the ups to get up here. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to be up here. So Burgundy Burgundy wouldn't stay in the trailer yesterday. And then right as it started raining, I couldn't find her. She's probably up on the porch at the house over there. Are you going to find Burgundy? That and also take care of the truck, but right, right. Okay. Stay. You have shoes? Oh no, his umbrella went upside down. Babe! Ah! I saw your umbrella break. Yeah, no, but I got it. Okay. Oh, buds. You're comfy, dear. <laughs> Bergy! Hi! Oh, you're just hungry? <laughs> so Matt is moving the truck closer to us because there's a big tree that hangs over it right there and it's really moving right now. So just in case, if it does fall. How's it out there, weatherman? It's a little wet. It's like, so I saw you walking by here. And immediately. <laughs> it just goes, Whoa. Well, because I thought the wind was coming from this way. But no, it's actually coming this way. It's, yeah. So I was like, well, that's not good either because I'm having the truck sit on this side. I know. I'm and assuming if... the wind's coming this way. Nope. So, hi, hi. that thing. Hi. First thing, she comes in and demands food. Well, and you know what she did too? Whenever I walked out there, like, I yelled her name and mm -hmm. she assumed it was food time. So she yeah. takes off that way. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> not quite the objective. She's like me. She gets hungry whenever she's stressed. Yeah. She's all wet. <laughs> I need to eat. 
Jesse, it's okay, Kitty. It's okay. We're all safe now. And our hole is holding up so far. Our bowl hole. <laughs> the bowl hole. <laughs> you can't really Anything hold right it. Here. Like, oh, oh no. man, that's bright. No. <laughs> so there's this little rubber feeling thing. That's actually the roof right there. What? Yeah. Hi. Sleepy. Hi. Not a sleepy. I'm staring at this light. It's good though. There's our light. There's our bowl. Go potty. Go, hurry! Go potty! Go potty! Go! Brady! <laughs> go! Go potty! Go! It's wet out here! Go pee pee! Oh man. It's slowed down a bit. Good boy. Oh. Go potty! And there he goes. Buzz. I don't know. Buzz, Buzz. Oh, there he is. Uh, oh, hey. Come here. So it is starting to pick up. We're starting to get like pretty strong gusts. Yeah, we get curtains. Curtains of rain. Yes, and that tree. Every now and then, like you can hear it, and then the trailer shakes. Get any branches off? Do you want a towel? Oh, you got one. Good news, the biscuits and gravy are ready. Alright, come on. I'm coming here. Yeah, make sure he doesn't fly away. Go. Down first. Oh my gosh, you're soaked. For me? Come on. Come here, Brady. Come here. Oh. Oh. This tree branch is gonna fall. Gotta look at me. You don't need a shower now. Wow. But yes, it's not too bad here. No, it's pretty bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my glasses. <laughs> wow, that was what, 30 seconds outside? Then help me, Brady. Help me. <laughs> Help me, puppies. You uh, I don't know. Guess what, pups? This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. You look good. <laughs> I think you're missing the bottom half, though. I know. I'm wearing a swimsuit on the bottom half. <laughs> I'm go first. Go. Stay buzz, buzz. This is the worst the wind has been. Go, Brady. Go. Go, Brady. Go. Go, Brady. Go. Go. Go, go, go. Come on, Brady. Okay, go bus, go. Go Stay. I don't know why it's not closing. Boy, let's wipe you off. Miserable outside, isn't it? Just so miserable. Come here. Oh. I need this one. Oh, you're sliding. Give me this one. <laughs> Any idea about the door? Flood warning. 
A flash flood warning has been issued for your location. Take immediate action for your protection. For additional well, information, so we're monitor your local media. There. This flash flood warning is a service of OnSol. 800 No, I updated it. Oh, yeah, huh? There's water trailing underneath us right now, uh, but it's actually moving. So this is what, that's what we want. Uh, we're all downhill. You know how hard it is to park, and I have to, we have to sit on those blocks too as well. Mm -hmm. to actually level out. So now we're fine. Water moves along here, and that's actually why we moved our electricity too. We put it up yeah. on top of the fence. Which we haven't been able to look at any of that because it's just been raining constantly. Yeah. And I'm kind of bummed about our door. What? No, it's not closing all the way. No, it's closing all the way. It's just, uh... We lock it. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> and it's just hard to close. And so it's sticking, so you have to pull it shut. Yeah. It's, uh, that was actually kind of hard to shut, too. Hmm. But that's because we never use it. Active flash flooding has just now happened. What's prompting is warning still in place for our neighbors all the way across Lee County, especially in the backdrop. Much of Fayette County as well, including Caldwell County 445. Look at this stuff. The latest flash flood warning that had been included or added to the mix has been out in the Austin area, including the city of Austin, really much uh, Travis County. And the heavy rain, rain bands that have unfortunately caused the devastating flooding between Fayette to Bastrop County. Let's look. <laughs> sure is wet out. Nothing back here. Which everything should start draining back there once this start, starts raising. There's uh, two spots right over here. There's a little bit of water. It's like standing like maybe an inch or two. And it's like a good little section. And then back here, there's some. But then over there, there's nothing. And then uh, I walked a little bit further. There's nothing back there. I walked over that way. There's nothing over there. And then my legs started hurting. It looks like we're okay right now. My parents are awake. You can see their lights on. Oh man, what the heck? Just let it, just keep her in here. Oh no. <laughs> They're gonna get so oh, muddy. No. Look how full the pool is. Yeah, it was like that last night too, but we also lost little tiny branches. There's one over there, there's yeah. one back there. And then that's the one, one over there. The dead tree though. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they've been wanting to run so bad. Go put this go! Just let them go. They've been cooped up for a while. Oh my gosh. Buzz is running laps over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think they just need to stay outside for a little while. <laughs> 